In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to configure the activity settings in BuddyBoss platform. So to get where I'm at, first you're going to go to components and make sure you've activated activity feeds. And then you can click on settings, which will take you into BuddyBoss settings. And from here, I'm going to show you what each one of these options does. Now, my site doesn't really have much activity because it's a new website. So I'm going to go to BuddyBoss tools and just create some dummy activity so that we have some content to test with. So I'm going to import members with activity posts. And then when I come to the front end, we can see that we have a lot of activity that we can play with now. Okay, so the first option we have here is activity auto refresh, automatically check for new activity posts. So I'm gonna save that. And then what I'm gonna do is here on this page, let me refresh. This is the activity feed. In this private browser, I'm logged in as Luna. I'm gonna send a post into the activity feed. And then if I come back here, load newest, and it shows her update. So as activity is happening throughout the network, it's going to ping WordPress and find the recently posted activity without you having to refresh the page. Next, we have this option for activity auto load, automatically load more activity posts and scrolling to the bottom of the page. So currently when I scroll to the bottom, I have to click this load more button, but it does allow me to see the footer if you have a lot down there. If I go here and check that, and let's refresh. Now when I go to the bottom, you'll see it automatically initializes the load more. Next we have follow functionality built in, allow your users to follow the activity of each other. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. And then now when I go to the members directory, we can see that the users show how many followers they have and I can click a button to follow them. So let me follow Luna. So now I'm following her. And in this private window, I'm logged in as Luna. So in here, I'm going to post something. And then when I come back to this website, if I go to my own timeline, it shows Luna posted an update. So within my own activity feed, I can see all the things I'm posting and everything Luna's posting and anyone else that I'm following. Next option is likes, which is built into the system now. So let me turn that on. And then if I go back to the timeline, I see her update, I can go ahead and like it. It says you like this and anyone else who likes it will be listed here as well. And I can unlike it as well. And then our last option is link previews. So we're gonna check that. It's going to display an image and excerpt from links when posted into the activity feed. So I've got an article here, some recipe, and I'm going to go ahead and start typing. and put in a link and it gives us this nice link preview. So let's click post update. And here we go, this looks really nice. 